Montana is undertaking infrastructure convergence based on an executive order. Little did I know it would be an epic saga on a galactic scale. The year is 2015. Starships wander among the planets. There is no clear leader. Ships are not sharing navigation or defense strategies. The destiny of the fleet is uncertain. On planet Earth, in the state of Montana to be specific, change is coming. Fearless leaders are meeting up to come up with a plan to align the fleet. Rising costs and varying missions have separated and weakened the alliance. Governor Bullock meets with the Jedi Council. Ideas are shared and discussed. Best practices are studied and recommended. After gathering leaders from planets across the galaxy, a decision is made. An executive order is issued to the fleet. After years of radio silence, a voice breaks through and is broadcast to all starships. It is the voice of Governor Bullock. The message comes through and is loud and clear. Convergence is coming. We have a plan to move the Alliance into the digital age and to save money. Everyone will benefit. Do or do not? There is no try, said Yoda. <laughs> As the news spreads from planet to planet and from ship to ship, crew members of the ships cheer but some jeer. But Governor Bullock's order means that the ships now have a solid and well thought out plan of action. They can begin moving in the same direction, but the clock is ticking and the fleet only has a few light years to come together and share resources. Converging infrastructure and centralizing resources means that the Alliance will be stronger. As assets are combined and ships began to share their technology and strategies, they will be able to move the Alliance forward. Use the force, Luke. A few lone ships captained by independents from distant planets try to divert away from the plans that Governor Bullock has laid out for the rest of the fleet. Convergence allies with their vision for a better future intervene. The captains meet on a neutral planet with leaders of the Alliance and express their concerns. They want to buy their own ships. They want to fly their own ships. They don't want to be weak in battle, but they are. They lose opportunities to collaborate, share, and save. Like Han Solo said, traveling through hyperspace ain't like dusting crops, farm boy. The worries of lone captains and their crews are unfounded. Combining assets and joining the alliance won't take away autonomy or weaken them. It strengthens everyone to better fight battles. They can, they can team up against bounty hunters and stormtroopers. They can win the battle of rising costs and protect themselves against the security threats that all planets face. As Yoda said, train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. Word spreads about convergence and its benefits across the galaxy. Ships large and small from neighboring planets recognize the benefits and volunteer to join the Alliance. The captains and crews are enthusiastic about coming together for a common cause. They see that joining forces will save money for all the planets. The total savings are in the millions. They also see improvements in security they get better reliability and find new places to explore as they share information. Again, Yoda has said, through the force, things you will see, other places, the future, the past. Finally, the vision that leaders had long hoped for is coming to fruition. Planets are joining together. Holographic maps are being shared. A plan for the Alliance gains momentum. The fleet of ships is combining, destinations are aligning. The vast fleet of independent ships are converging together. The Alliance is prepared to move through space as one, better, stronger, and more prepared than ever to fly forward into the future of the digital age. May the force be with you.